just raised the deck from three inches to four inches. As you can probably see, because there's a gap below the skirt that's set for three inches, and you can see a one inch gap there. So what we're gonna do here, is to give you an idea how this works, is we've now loosened all the hardware, except for the opposite side, but we're gonna see if we can lower this without having to lower the the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this side at one inch above the ground, which should be the same as this over here, and then run that one over there like it was set for three inches, which you should be able to see over here now. See the gap between one side and the other. And we will find out just how much more, actually what I'll do is run this side up at three inches and the other side at at four so anyway we're going not the uh, deck but of course the skirting but for now we're going to run it just like it is and just see how much we get into and blow back over the system here so we'll get back welcome back to max's garage mahal we're going to do a little bit of a photo shoot real quick with the hustler raptor deck skirting and on the left side of the skirt left half We've raised the deck to four inches, four inches. Okay, we've dropped the skirting to one inch above the ground. So that's gonna have three inches of blockage around half the skirt. On the other side, we're gonna run it at um, one inch, but it's gonna be three inches of blockage, or actually I take it back, one inch of blockage below the deck skirt. So we're going to compare the two sides, and we're going to use the Feutech Vimble 2A gimbal in order to operate this little camera for you here. And um, let's see, let's start shooting with it real quickly. And there we go. So now we're shooting that, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can get you some footage to see how much blowback the skirting stops in the winds. Right now, 12 mile an hour, that's 12. I don't know if you can hear me over this mask. So let's get some footage.
something all over the mower. All right. As you can see, I go prepared. I keep an extra mask around here. So, what I can tell you is the skirts work, and it's working pretty good. Even, let me go ahead and turn this camera off. And I'm going to turn off the Feutech Vimble 2A gimbal. Hang on just a moment. And I keep forgetting that this thing has a uh, has a vertical. If you get to a certain place, this thing will automatically go into a vertical, which is pretty neat. And uh, I keep forgetting that, so I apologize to Feutech. That's my fault. <laughs> and uh, it, it makes for a different type of video for sure. Anyway, uh, it looks pretty good. And I'll show you the the footage from this little camera. I just walked around the, the mower. Now, I wasn't going for a pretty mow. I was just going for um, blowback to see what it's going to do. And it's doing really well. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the deck back to... Uh, I think I'm going to go back to three and a half, go ahead and adjust both skirts down and that'll give me like a um, half inch from soil level and then I'm going to go ahead and run the mower probably wide open as usual and using both hands. I probably won't use the, the uh, little action camera but um, I just want to show you that that skirting really works well and uh, we'll wrap this up and we'll come back and we'll look at the yard possibly after everything's mowed just to see what it looks like and I do have a yard that I gotta go mow here shortly the widow lady across the street bless her heart um, her fast track really doesn't do a very good job so I always mow it now with the Raptor and uh, the Raptor does such a sweet smooth job on it that, that uh, we'll go over and do hers and her yards quite a bit higher so that will be a better test for the skirting as well so we'll be back We'll get an idea what the final product looks like. Thank you for watching so far. There we go. So now we're shooting that, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can get you some footage to see how much blowback the skirting stops. And the wind's right now at 12 mile an hour. That's 12. I don't know if you can hear me over this mask. So let's get some footage.
Okay, that looks pretty good, guys. I don't see a whole bunch of grass up there. That looks pretty good. Let's see what you get inside here. Nothing there. Whoops. Sorry about that. I forget it has this vertical. All right. There we go. Nothing in there. So, nothing all over the mower. All right. As you can see, I go prepared. I keep an extra mask around here. So, what I can tell you is the skirts work, and it's working pretty good. Even, let me go ahead and turn this camera off. went inside to get the camera so we did have a little bit of blowout and some of this was left over right here from the last mow so you saw that before I started mowing okay this is what blowout we've got right here and as you can see by the way inside the belt covers nothing for all you guys that keep saying your belt covers gets full all right so that's how much blowout we got, which is very little. And right there you can see why. Is there is no room down here at the end for dirt to come out and grass. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what got the blowout I got right here when I crossed right in here, this is when I was crossing. Um, I went over some um, curbing and that allowed enough gap in here to cause the grass to have an area to come out of. So this right here, I left this like this so that when you go up and down curbs to the right and left, that allow that to ease in and out. So that's the reason for that. That thing works great. And by the way, check inside there, guys. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn this camera in the right direction. Notice there's no debris inside there. So, and look how much cleaner the mower is from the last mow. Check this out. Let's take a look in here. That's even much cleaner. Take a look at this, guys. So, those skirts really do work well. So, there you go. And I believe that we've got a winner. As soon as I get the skirting on the rear, then we'll be in business. All right. Well, we appreciate you watching. And uh, let me turn this thing off and get another camera. Get your shot on it as well. Okay, so we come out with the big camera. First of all, I'm going to tell you, look at this. It is a lot cleaner than the last mow, and it's still pretty dusty out here. It's dry. So take a look at this. That is a lot cleaner than it was before. On the last two mows, it was terrible. Even in, look inside there. Nice and clean. Just the way we like it. Now here's the blowout that I got. And this is from going up on curbs and allowing some air underneath the front. But if you'll notice right there, there is no place for grass to come out of there. And I really like it. Now on this end over here, I left it like that so that this thing would be able to move in and out as necessary and still can maintain its, its uh, distance from the ground. So that is working very, very well. Some of this grass was also from the last cut, which I didn't clean the mower up from that one too well. And uh, just thought you might like to see. By the way, take a look inside those belt covers for all you naysayers that say they don't work. Just as clean as they can be. Take a look. What do you think? All right, well, guys. We appreciate you guys coming by Max's Garage by Hall. Thank you very much. Please share if you get anything out of this thing. And, and uh, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you would, please share. And we appreciate you once again coming by Max's Garage by Hall. Y'all come back and see us now, yeah?